What is up everybody? Sean Tubbs here. I'm hanging out at Sweetwater and we are checking out my new signature overdrive pedal. It's called the Tilt Overdrive. Now what this is, is one side of it is an organic medium gain overdrive. Sounds real ampy, kind of responds like a single channel tube amp would. On the other side, we have a boost circuit, 12 dB of absolutely clean boost, but it also has a really cool tilt EQ as well as a tight switch. Now, I'll get into how that sounds uh, in the demo, but these are really, really usable features on this pedal. Now, where I wanna start is basically just giving you guys an idea of where the sound in my head kind of starts with this pedal. So check it out. So it's a really expressive touch sensitive pedal. And just to give you an idea, I'm gonna leave this sound up. I'm not gonna to touch anything on the pedal or the guitar. I'm just gonna change just my tone in my hands so you can get an idea for you know, how expressive it is. So check it out. I'm gonna play really soft now. So the idea behind that is I really wanted this pedal to respond like a normal uh, single channel kind of vintage tube amp would respond and, and that's honestly what they do and the feel of this pedal is very similar to that. We spent a lot of time getting that sorted out. Let's, uh, let's just check out the actual gain. So right now I've got it about three quarters of the way up. I'm going to go ahead and dime it and let you guys kind of hear where we go from where I'm at now to wide open. So it's, it's capable of a good amount of gain. Uh, and you could actually go ahead and solo. And it'll still, you know, act like uh, you know, or feel like a great like solo box, you know, but it doesn't get flubby when you when you dime it like that. If I turn it back down, still sounds great, but I don't feel like I have to change anything when I turn the gain all the way up. Okay, so that is the gain range on on this side of the pedal. We're gonna dive into getting more gain out of it, trust me. Uh, let's just look at the bass and, uh, and treb real quick. Let's look at the bass. The bass side of this uh, pedal is not your typical sub-low bass. In other words, it's not this big enveloping bass. It's more of kind of a low mid. And I did that for a couple of reasons. Uh, one was I, I don't like to take up a ton of room in a mix. I want my sounds to be very record ready. And also I, I like getting a thicker kind of single note sound out of the guitar when I'm soloing. So check it out. I've got the bass all the way off right now. And that still sounds really good. It's pretty open. Let me just roll it up a bit. So right there is a, a pretty big, just kind of nice low end, but it's not enveloping. But here's what I dig is if we turn the gain up a little bit, it's the single notes. If I turned it back off and play the same thing, that still sounds great, but if I do want to have a, just a thicker single note tone, I can roll that bass up. And of course, I can turn it up all the way. Check that out. 
So all the way up, it doesn't, all of a sudden the pedal doesn't just fall apart on you. It'll actually create a little bit more gain, which is, you know, what an amplifier would do. Now on the treb side, it's a pretty broad range. I'm going to turn the treble all the way off. Let's go all the way up. So it's a pretty broad range on the treble side, but very, very usable. I usually like it set about, you know, about right there. Now, this thing is quite capable of pushing the amp really hard, just running it clean from this side, you know, turning the gain down and bumping the volume. We can hit the amp harder. That's a lot more uh, push to the amp. And, and of course it's great at that, but that's where this boost comes in. So let me just kind of dial up, just go back to that uh, kind of opening sound I had, right? And let's look at the boost side. Now on the boost side of the pedal, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on and show you where I would have it set as what I, you know, what I would consider like a more. It's like, I like what I have, I just want more. So check it out. Here's the opening sound. But even hitting it that way, you can hear how the pedal still cleans up. You can still hear that clarity in, you know, just the big chords. So I set it up so, it, you know, as I said, it, that's the more setting. But here's where the tilt EQ comes into play, because say we're digging this tone. But you're on a session and the artist or the producer or you're in the band and you're just not cutting through. There's, you know, they're asking, hey, can we just get you know, a brighter tone, something that'll cut more, check it out. So that's where the tilt part of this uh, circuit really comes into play, because it just helps you sculpt your tone without changing anything over here with your tone stack, which is really, really nice. You know, I can, uh, let's go ahead and just roll it all the way to the left. So if it's all the way to the left, that's gonna be the brightest setting. So as you go to the left, it's gonna cut lows and add highs. As you go to the right, it's going to uh, cut uh, highs and add lows. So this would be kind of the brightest setting. <laughs> So you can hear I was able to just kind of sculpt that tone in. This is kind of where I wanted it to end up. So it's it's just the ultimate kind of tone shaping uh, boost. It's not just a boost. Now, speaking of boost, we can go ahead and hit this a lot harder to get more gain out of the pedal. Check it out. It's obviously quite capable of, of giving you quite a bit more gain if you need it. And you know, even when I had it all the way up like that, I can still sculpt that in if I want that to be a little bit tighter and maybe a little bit more kind of searing. Okay, so that's how that side of the pedal works. The other thing I want to show you is there's this tight switch here that I mentioned. The reason that's there is really, once again, it's a workflow thing. So if I'm on a session and let's say I've found a tone where the tilt ended up, you know, over here where it might have a little bit more low end.
And I've, I'm loving where that ended up. I don't want to change the top end, but maybe there's a little too much low end. That's where this tilt switch will come into play. Check it out. <laughs> So right away, you can hear it, it kind of shelved out the really boomy lows and also brought out some mids. If I put it back to where it was, okay, so do you hear that? The That sounds great. It's like all guitar players love all that low end. But unfortunately, that is not going to fit in a mix. And in my case, it's a workflow thing where I don't have to change any of the settings on the pedal or the amp. I can just simply hit the switch and uh, tighten that up. If I put it back, hear how the low end wasn't quite as tight it's just once again it's 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 a utility that i have on this pedal that allows the player just to move really really quickly to just sort out and sculpt uh, their tone in to be record ready <laughs> So that is my Signature Tilt Overdrive pedal. If you have any questions about this pedal or any other Rev products, call your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.